189. It's a seven or an eight. Okay, we're gonna go a seven. <laughs> Long, what? It's gonna take some getting used to. We are in Palms, uh, well, Yucca Valley. Shall um, I do a little uh... We got uh, 12 holes, which runs on quite nice from my episode before last. I'll put a link above uh, about the one hour um, kind of round of golf. Um, they seem to have pretty good kind of uptake on a 12 hole competition, and um, they can also do loops of six, which I think is a really good thing. You know, 12 holes and get round. How, how long to get round 12 holes, Bob? Two holes, two hours. Two hours for 12 holes. It's that well is great. The standard thing here. We don't have 12 in the UK, do we? Do we? I don't think they have it here. No, they don't. This is it's normally quite unique. It's kind of a new thing. Yeah. It's a new thing. Cindy said that there was a bit of resistance. Ooh, nice tea. Thanks, Bob. There is, has been, it and is resistance. <laughs> and it has cost them a lot of business for going 12 holes. I grew up with 18. I don't like it that it went to 12. But oddly enough, it seems to suit my lifestyle better to play 12. Yeah, exactly. I can come out at 10 o'clock, finish at noon, and still have a lot of days, daylight left to do my wife's chores. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, and then I'm allowed to go out and play. Yeah, I think that's common to a lot of people, actually. Yeah, and, you, and if you're older and you're walking, 12 is kind of pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. And you can always do six more. Yeah, if you want to make the 18, that's fine. I mean, we're, right. we're, we're sort of pre-programmed for 18 holes yeah. and anything up to five hours around. And yet, we don't need to do that. No. I've got to say, it's so different. So this is 299. And in the UK, that would obviously be drivers. But I'm going to hit a three with today. And I won't be far away, I don't think. Why is that? Because the air's th Actually, thinner? It's nice yeah. Where'd you go, Bob? Um, about 350 out there. <laughs> <laughs> I dribbled one off to the left. I, I, I like I it, Bob. I like your style. Probably. Again. <laughs> And I've just hit it over the green, 299. It is slightly down breeze, but this is the beauty of warm weather. You know when we see those tour pros, all the stats, <clears throat> and we're in the cold of the UK and we're thinking, what, 300 yards? It's a lot easier in this uh, weather. Greens here. So that was a nice little uh, three three thirty off the tee. <laughs> how, how quick are they, Stu? They are super quick. I'll do a little test in a minute. Are we are we talking a thirteen? Whoa! You still beat on that ball. Oh. Whoa! That's so quick. Good morning. Nice. Oh, good pack. Nice. It's, uh, it's in the afternoon right now. This is, what do you think, Bob? 30 foot? 35 foot? Yeah. 30. If there's moisture, you can see it. The greens are soft. <laughs> Coming from a California. Well, I had a good line. That's a good line, yeah. That. <laughs> 
All right. Okay. I'll, I'll, Not so happy, Godfrey. I'll, 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 as we say in the business, pin high, dude. Pin high, dude. <laughs> right, so everybody, watch how you come in quite tight you want me close. to come closer? Watch how softly I'm going to hit this. Well, at least I'm still on the green. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. This is a one foot putt in England. Good flaccid stroke. Still going, still going, still going. Might be in. Still going. <laughs> and five foot. <laughs> From, that's crazy. Yeah, that's like that, I mean, that, that big a yeah. backswing for a 35 footer. 189. What, are you hitting a wedge? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Think of what you would normally hit and take the three clubs off. Seven or an eight. Okay, we're going to go a seven. Oh. Right, Pin high. That's <laughs> long. long. What? <laughs> that's crazy. It's going to take some getting used to. Yeah. Is there a way, seriously, that you can that's calculate when you uh, tall players or whatever how they do it? Um. No, there's nothing you can do. I think you just have to get to your various altitude or... I mean, a lot of the guys watching the channel probably do play in climates like this a lot, but us in the UK, it's cold, the balls are cold, so the balls don't fly the same. Uh, the shafts, graphite shafts, when they get cold, they don't flex, the properties so are different. But, so, the, but how do they calculate, like, how does <clears throat> the caddies say for going from a, I don't know, something that's in the UK and then playing something in California the next week? You just well, have they, to... they, they play once in the UK, maybe twice a year, yeah. and it's in the summer. Now, when we play in the summer, it's the same as this. Mm. But for the rest of the year, which is the other eight months, <laughs> it's um, completely different. But when you watch them play in Scotland um, and places like that, I mean, they, they do have to recalculate and work out your distances in your clubs. It's colder. You don't feel... You feel stiffer and you feel less supple. But they do play in the same kind of climate most of the year round. If you're on yeah. the uh, US tour, which is very similar, it's a little bit different in Europe because you get to altitudes like in Switzerland and um, so it, the ball does fly a lot but they do. there is a calculation that you can do. Like now I've hit one shot so now I know that my a half decent struck seven irons about 185, 190 for me for this round and I can calculate that through all my clubs. Uh, okay so this is the difference when you're, you're, you're traveling and you're playing away. We've just worked out that the, the greens are kind of like 12 or 13 on the stem which is crazy fast but the actual texture of these greens are very different when in the UK our, our greens get up to that that uh, sort of 12 13 mark they're very dry and they're very hard so when you pitch onto them you're not expecting much check however I can see with these there's a good chance they're going to check a lot so that is you've got to account that into also you know and uh, they will all be consistent so um, it's just a case of going on the practice green before you come out. Unfortunately today we've run out because uh, we only just flew in so uh, we thought we'd get on the course quick. Um, but ordinarily you would go on the range and you would chip a few greens, a uh, few shots um, and you would get an idea of what they check like. So I'm just going to guess with this one but we'll see if it stops. I figured anywhere on the green from there. There we go. It's still fast. Get in. It's moist right now. Amazing. We're here. <laughs> it looks like rabbit yeah. I'm not sure the camera will get that. But this this is a different texture too. This is like AstroTurf yeah, that texture. Is chip. For me, that'll take up more getting used to than anything. Those little chip shots around the green. You know. What have right, we got so here? What's this one, Bob? Bighorn Canyon. Hey, it's... 281? Two, uh, two, uh, 298. 298. Backdrop. Stunning, isn't That's it? That's what I was thinking. I mean, this course really has that. Incredible. But look at the old trees to the right. Lovely. Nice. 
So this is my closest and oldest friend, Bob Fergo. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> now we, we're going to go. We we'll do a story with Bob um, about his his kind of upbringing and his his relationship with golf, because um, his father played golf and his brother plays golf now, and uh, he was and still is a wicked player. So uh, it's always fun to play with Bob. And this is kind of like your home track now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I live here. It's nice. He lives really close and yeah. perfect. So, uh, we're spoiled. And here's the man. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's gone well. That's a good that's a decent... Do you actually want me to give you a yardage or are you just doing it no, by eye? By eye. Eyeballing it. Just a little pitching wedge and kind of just trying to sling it in there. Nice. I use that technique. That's, that's nice. a lovely shot. Shot. It's a little short. No, that's rolling out. Nice. I like yeah, so here we go. What's it? 299. Okay, I'm a bit short on this one. But only 10 yards. Uphill, that was. So. You can be a little more aggressive on this. Yeah. Because it is quite uphill and there's some moisture in the green. Okay. I like it. It's got a lot of spin on. Wow. It takes some getting used to. Bobby, you'd make a good caddy for Stu, I think. I know. Well, that's, what I, that's what I'm bowling up for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I could see it. It was, it was spinning so much, I could see it kind of oscillating as it flew. Yes. It was such a short shot. This is, this is offensively beautiful. This is going to be hurting people at home, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, Bob just takes this sort of thing for granted. <clears throat> We moved here though because it does have special atmosphere. Yeah. And memories for me. Come on, Bob, roll it in. I hit it fat. I can't believe that has got <laughs> pin high up the slope. I hit it fat. I hit the green like six inches before. <laughs> Oh yeah. Ooh. Good grief. That's gonna to come to my feet. <laughs> that was a good putt. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna reverse. Daddy said you had softer hands than that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have wood in your hands then. Yeah, nice. nice putting stroke. <sighs> <laughs> so, what decade was that driver from, Bob? Um, early 1800s. <laughs> it what works it? for him. E ERC, is it? Callaway? Yes. What year is that? 2000 before? 98? That's early, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a vintage. I put new grips. You want to try this one? No. Oh, no. New grips? Mid-size. Oh, well that makes it better, doesn't it? It's easier, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, brought, you brought the cameraman down. There's no, <laughs> There's no other trees. <laughs> it made a nice knocking noise. It's a lovely it? noise, yeah. yeah. Where'd it go, do you know? It, 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 I mean, it hit that absolutely flush, full on. I mean, it made more of a wood sound than you would. Come on, Bobby. Knock this one in. It's a good shot to me. Oh, yeah, I really can. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bother to read them then. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you saw that was breaking left, right? Not really. Oh. That didn't break. I like that roll. Ooh. Nice. nice. Birdie. Okay, so it's 4.15. The temperature is absolutely perfect. The sun, and it's just so beautiful with the long shadows. And we're pretty much the only people on the golf course. I mean, it's, it is millionaire's golf.
Twilight with a cart, I think is um, like 32. Walking for me is 25. 25 Twilight, bucks. and there's the early bird before nine o'clock for 25 walking in the same, you know, like 32 with a cart. That's Pretty cheap good, golf. Isn't it? Yeah. That's cheap golf. Beautiful. Great shot, Bob. Yeah. What do you mean, Bob? Hi, mate. <laughs> well, that's a long pause. What, what, what's going on? <laughs> What'd you get? Nine, I've cleared the green. Seriously? I see it as being low and straight up the middle. Is that how you see it? Like the bushes, like the trees, but I think it's okay. <clears throat> He's making it just even more difficult for himself. Well, <laughs> the, the, the visibility, I've got the sun blocked. Oh, okay. So it'll make me more comfortable. So instead of 90 yards of draw, you need about 130 now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's perfect. I like, I like this implement. What is it? Well, it's an interesting device, particularly for a, an ex-US amateur championship it looks tournament like player. You clean windows with. Yes, no this not only can scoop one ball up from the water, <laughs> you can get a whole sleeve in one go. Uh, Efficient. I, I could do with one of those. Sweet. Is it long enough? Yeah. That was a great shot. Ordinarily, this would be fine, but why is it not? <laughs> it's that green. It's like a snooker table. <clears throat> it's a soft hand shot. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're here at Hawks Landing uh, Golf Course. Um, this is a 12-hole golf course, um, just just outside of Yucca Valley. Right? Yucca Valley. Yucca Valley. Yeah. This is Mark Elliott. He's the pro here. You're in charge of uh, all the shop doings here. Is that correct? Pretty much so. Yes. And, and how long have you been here? I have been here for since it opened. Uh, you know, three years ago, okay, and, and I was here when it was a, yeah, another golf course called Blue Skies. Blue Skies, okay, and uh, so in the and 90s and early 2000s. And that was a bigger course, right? Huh? It was 18 holes. Yes. Oh, okay. We converted oh. it. Oh, I see. So, um, have you met, ha, in what way have you changed it from 18 to 12? Have you lost some holes or lost some land or? Yes, we had a flood zone in the middle of it, and. Uh, uh, we eliminated that and made the holes around the flood, mm -hmm. and uh, it's worked out real good. We as kept the water features. Yes, <laughs> yes. And we got, have we have bigger lake now also. We have two lakes. Yeah. And uh, is it a members club? Do you have members here? Is it a private club? Oh. Or, or? Uh, it's it's it, we do have members, but it is public public golf course. Okay. Single owner, oh, yes. and she's done a real good job with it. And what's that, Cindy? What's her full name? Cindy Milan. Ah, Cindy Milan. She was lovely. I met her the other day. Um, she's a very busy lady. Right? <laughs> very busy. And her husband's a superintendent and does a real good job with the course. Yeah, we're, we're very fortunate here in Yucca Valley. Uh, it's gorgeous. Have this golf course. Is it the only course in Yucca Valley? It's the only golf course, yes. So you've got a captive market. Well, uh, we're. We're only 30 miles away from Palm Springs, and uh, they have over 100 golf courses. Down there. And what's your green fee? So if people wanted to come come along and play this lovely course, you know, what, uh, they're always under forty dollars year round, year round. Oh, that's excellent. Where you'll see the other courses down below go way up. And the greens are incredible. 
Uh, so your the green stuff, are, are yes, bent grass greens. We're we're very fortunate that it's cool enough up here. Yeah. We're 3,300 feet. Okay. So it's cool enough to have bent grass year round here. And so what's the difference in temperature between uh, down in Palm Springs and here? Because it is a, a yes, quite a, 15 a, to 20 degrees difference. Right. And so um, it was interesting. So I was playing the other day, and the ball flies further. So is an altitude a different? It, it, does it, it make? It's almost a club difference. It is a yeah. club difference. Yeah. So there you go. That was that was interesting. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we were. It was quizzing us, so I was thinking, you know, yes, seven hours were going like 190. I was thinking, this is crazy. Yeah. It's flying a long way out here. Yeah. But that does make a difference. Well, right? I know you're a good player, so <laughs> you already hit it 300 yards. But <laughs> for us that don't hit it quite as far, it's, it's a blessing, it's yes. Lovely. But it's a nice course, isn't it? It's got a, a good blend of everything. There's a lot of kind of long holes and short holes, and, you know, you've got your par five, one par five. We have two par, two par fives, fives and, one down the back. And three par threes if you play the first six over again that's what we do we, we have a 12 hole rate sure. yet we charge we charge them for 12 holes yet we let them play 18. Oh, first six cool. over again so oh, okay yeah. so and that's good when you play it if you've not played the course before it's quite nice because you have another go at the holes that you've not played exactly. you get exactly. your second time yeah, around, second time around. Mm -hmm. you bet. and uh, is it popular was there a resistance from changing it from 18 to 12 if people got used to it or do you think it's going that way what do you think uh, a few of the locals resisted at first but uh -huh. not much anymore and it's actually been a blessing for us especially uh, we have a lot of charity tournaments here right. scrambles yes we call them scrambles okay. and, and some of them not so good golfers, so 12 mm -hmm. holes is enough for them. Sure. And we get them around in about three hours, that's good. which is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that and, is good. Uh, yeah, and uh, as you know, golf uh, has changed a little bit. Uh, there's so many other things to do that people don't want to be on a golf course for five hours. Absolutely. And even if you play 18 holes here, you're usually done in about three and a half hours. You've done great. So that's, that's, that's been real good. And so do you find yourself busy? Is it hard to get a tea time or is it pretty, I mean, every time I've been here, it's been beautiful. Hardly anybody on the course and you've got the place to yourself almost. We're, we're very fortunate. Uh, we are getting busier on the weekends and, and that sort of thing. But uh, most of the time you can walk in and get a tea time, 90% uh, of the time. So. And that's pretty rare. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time, Mark. Uh, oh, that was brilliant. You. And uh, I'll you. put some links uh, below about the golf course so you can find the information. Talk to Mark. He'd be really happy to help you out with some tee times. And um, these amazing golf boards, which we're going to hopefully do some kind of feature on in the next couple of days. Thanks again, Mike. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.